Hey guys, it's uh, Logan from Rocket Out Productions, and for those on uh, YouTube, it's just, I mean on Facebook, it's just Logan. Um, but today I am, you know, have, as for most of you have already known, I have finally reached my 1,000 hour community service goal. And so I am, I did, along with this video, it is the, one of my interviews that I had today of reaching my 1,000 hour goal. Now, keep in mind, a thousand hours is a lot of time. It's about 47 days when you do the math. But beside that, it's a lot of time and a lot of days where you really help out people. And this started for me back in seventh grade. I just wanted to set the goal for, a th you know, I thought maybe, wow, a thousand, that sounds like a great number. You know, I came to my realization today that I was the first one to do this in like, the area to even think about a thousand hours of service and and to do it in you know six years is amazing most people would think of that for a lifetime so it definitely meant a lot to be able to uh, reach this goal and so here's the interview one of my interviews today and I hope you guys enjoy because I really enjoyed all 1,000 hours and you really learn a lot about others and yourself in community service. Uh, so without further ado, here's the video, and I had a couple little notes at the end for you guys to read because this is a big event. And if if you guys take anything out of this, just it wouldn't ever just take ten minutes out of your day to think of how to help others and how to make the world just a better place, one kind act at a time, and this world will be a better, a little bit better then. Until then, this is Logan from Rocket Out Productions, and I'll talk to you all soon. And I'll look for a couple new videos soon, all right? See you guys later. Hello, everybody. We'd like to take a couple minutes to introduce you Logan Otto. Logan's been a member of the uh, C Club since its inception, really. Builders when he started. Builders when he started. And. We're celebrating today because Logan has achieved something, the first person in, in uh, the Newberry group to do this. 1,000 hours of community service. <laughs> there you go. So I spoke with him for a little bit, and there's a couple of things that uh, I'd like to point out. So I took some brief notes. <laughs> Logan started in the seventh grade. He looked about the same. He only grew about an inch since then. He was a little dirty there. He was so cute. He was a big mop of red there. He trimmed the mop, but it's still red. Um, Logan, tell everybody what was the first hour that you spent. My first hour that was spent was at a uh, teen institute where I had to uh, help as a youth staff, which basically helps all the kids around. So, Woo! Yeah. Woo! All right. One of the things I brought to this attention, do you guys realize 1,000 hours of community service is 42 days? Over a month, a month and a half of work. Logan, what was your favorite first hour? The favorite best hour that you ever did? It was the first hour I put on the Easter Bunny suit. Very, very fun. <laughs> <laughs> so for you little guys, he's just helping out the Easter Bunny, okay? Right. <laughs> All right. One of the things that Logan pointed out, how many friends have you made? Uh, at least 20 really good friends, and then at least hundreds more friends from all over the state and nation. So, and who's the most influential people that you've met? My most influential, most inspiring people would be my stepmom and my grandma. <laughs> you plan to continue with Kiwanis? Yes, I do. I plan to go on to hopefully Akron University for a Circle K and a half now. Woo! And then afterwards with myself for Quantum International. And do you want to come back here to Newberry? Yes. Good, because I think you can. All the things that you can help. You can become the president soon. Woohoo! You can become the president when you go to college. Uh, computer uh, networking and <laughs> engineering. 
All right, and what are the three things that you've learned from being involved all the way from the club and builders? How, I would say one would be how to be a better leader, two, how to be a uh, better team player, and uh, what is my third? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and to, uh, it, that it also made me realize that some people don't have it as well when I'm talking to all these less fortunate people and some, you, you have it better off than you really think you do. That's true. All right. Last and most important, share something with the younger people that work with you and builders and key clubs and tell them what you think your best advice would be. Setting goals and being able to manage them is a very important thing and always to make your goals realistic and get challenging because without a challenge, it's no work and no fun. All right. Thank you very much. You guys are good. And we get a, yeah, you've got a coupon so that you can go to the Kiwana store and buy something that uh, you like. Remember, thank you very much. Yeah.